Here's a third Delphi example. This one is going to be using JSON Writer with a SQL query. You can use the JSON Writer with rows and columns of database data, create a RAD server package application, have a get endpoint, for example, and then write some code that goes through the SQL select statement and builds up an array of rows and columns of data that comes from a SQL query. So here in our uh, resource unit, we have a database connection that talks to the employee database, an employee query that just says select star from employee, and then a JSON standard storage link. Now you've seen something like this earlier in a, in a lecture. In this case, we're going to write some code behind that is going to process through the employee query. So in our get method, for example, we'll make sure the query is closed. We'll call SQL select star from employee. Then we'll start by setting our JSON writer formatting to indented. And then we'll call write start array and we'll iterate through the record count of rows coming from the query. We'll take each of the fields that comes back and we'll write the property name of the field and the value of the field as a string and then keep doing that. And then we'll close our right end object by calling right end object. And then we'll close the array after we iterate through all the rows. Then in our get item endpoint, we'll do a SQL select statement for a specific employee by taking the item off of the URL. And then we'll set JSON writer formatting to indented we'll call JSON writers write start object and we'll go through all the columns of the selected row and then end the object by calling write end object. So let's take a look at this Delphi example in action. So our resource name is FireDAX. So we'll open a browser, get the version information and then say FireDAC is our resource name. Now you'll see an array of JSON objects and for each JSON object, We've got the return column names and the values coming from each of the columns all the way through the employee table and then closing the array down here at the end. And then if I specify one of the employees, for example, employee 138, I think we have one right there. Then it says, okay, we've just got one employee. So that's the get item endpoint and we display a nice formatted JSON of the columns and values from that selected row. 